So we all know that masks are mandatory in indoor spaces now, but what makes the perfect mask? Well, according to John Hopkins, it has to cover your nose, it has to cover your mouth, and it should be made up of two separate layers of fabric, a bit like this one. However, I want to see what the people of Edinburgh think is the most ideal mask for them. Uh, just one that fits well. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like these ones all pulled down under the same amount. Have you got any tips to get to stop the steam? Uh, yes, I've been told about the soap and things like that. I've tried all that, but really I wait day and you get caught up in the conversation. It could be a wee bit. Um, I want to make sure that you know it's like durable. You know, it doesn't last more than once. Unfortunately, I'm wearing this one at the minute. Um, it looks okay. It's like uh, the right material, as in like obviously you get something like really thin. Obviously, kind of try to pass for some protection or not. Really, about it. Just, just the colours of your face and your mouth.